In this video, we will outline the new Dashboard Builder Enhancement feature, highlighting three different components, the Advanced Interaction Editor, Targeted Faceting, and Dynamic Reference Line UI. With the Spring 20 release, Advanced Dashboard Builders will no longer need to use Command-E to build or edit interaction bindings. For queries and widgets, Builders will have an option for Advanced Editor, which provides a contextual code editor and interaction binding syntax helper. Click on the small icon at the bottom to open the Advanced Interaction Editor. Before moving further, I want to get your attention on a couple of things. In the middle of your screen, you can visualize your widget or query that you want to modify. On the left, you have a panel that will help you build a new interaction. And at the bottom, you have the result of what you're building and the result that this interaction itself will produce. So now let's make our custom query more interactive. To do this, we will select the query, then choose the data that we want to link. Here, this is the cell coming from the first row and in the project column. Going back to the previous panel will allow you to choose the type of interaction you want, as well as dive into more advanced options. You can see, as we selected those elements of the interaction, the syntax was built and the result is shown at the bottom. For now, we will simply copy our syntax, paste it in the right location, and hit Save to save the new interaction you built. With the Spring 20 release, dashboard builders no longer need to use code and bindings to create targeted faceting in dashboards. Previously, faceting was either all or nothing. But now, developers can identify specific queries they would like to receive faceting. Here, for instance, let's say we don't want the open pipeline number widget to be affected by the bottom chart. In Einstein Analytics, if both queries are built on the same data set when faceting on one widget, the other one receives the selection. So how do we do this? Well, that's simple. We just need to know the name of the query running on the bottom chart, which is stage underscore chart. And now we will go edit the faceting mode of our open pipeline query. By default, all is selected. We will select exclude and simply select the stage chart query and hit apply. And now, as you can see, when we apply a selection on this chart, the open pipeline does not get faceted. With the Spring 20 release, Dashboard builders no longer need to use code and bindings to create a dynamic reference line. Previously, builders needed to create a binding to another query. Now, they can use the Chart Widget Properties panel to pick another query and field name to dynamically power the reference line. In order to build a reference line, you need to select a chart. Depending on the chart type, you will have to select either the x-axis or the y-axis. To create a reference line, simply click on the plus reference line right under the show title checkbox. This opened up a new modal and created a reference line with a fixed value. In order to make the reference line dynamic, click on the blue icon on the right side of the value box. This opens up a new window where you need to select the query driving the reference line value. Choose the source query, select the value of the reference line. Finally, select the interaction type. Click Apply, and you should be able to visualize the newly created reference line. And in the same exact way, you can create a dynamic label.